Remember that one of the things layer 2 does, at the Mac layer in particular, is controls access to the physical medium down in layer 1. So if we just sent bits down there, they could get jumbled and confused by different streams and so forth, and uh, they might go too fast, too slow, and so on. So layer 2 controls that access from the data to layer 1. There are various means by which we could control access. One of those is called polling. So in the case of polling, we have some central device here. This is called a media, ac media access unit in this case. And it asks each host in turn if it needs to transmit. So it's going to say, number one, do you need to transmit? No, no response. Number two, do you need to transmit? Number three, do you need to transmit? Number four, do you need to transmit? And so on. Until finally one of these says, yes, I do need to transmit. And then it will go ahead and allow that transmission to take place. Well, you can imagine, though, that uh, as we get very many devices, uh, it takes a long time to, to make the round robin here and get back to any one device. So uh, the more devices you have, the uh, slower this thing gets. Another way we can do it is token ring. So here you have this token going around from one device to another. And when that token gets to a device, uh, that device is, if the device needs to transmit something, it will go ahead and, and as long as it's got the token, it will go ahead and make that transmission. Here number four is receiving it, and now number four transmitted back to number one, and now the token starts all over again. And uh, when it get here, it got to one, one says, yes, I do need to send something. Are you the one? Are you the one? Uh, nope, you're the one, and it sends it down to four. Four in turn then will uh, send out a transmission, and one will receive it, and then the token will continue. We can do tokens with a central device. Now notice there's no central device here required in a token ring. We can do token ring here. And what we do is uh, we simply send the token, uh, say, to this and say, do you need to talk? Or here's your, you've got the token now. And if it, uh, has the, uh, if it has the token and it needs to talk, then it can go ahead and send the data out to whoever it needs to. And then the token gets passed on to somebody else. And that's so we can use a central device, then we would have a logical star uh, there, but we would have a, excuse me, a physical star here, but a logical ring in this case. Contention is the third way we can do it, and this is what we do with Ethernet. Ethernet and contention are almost synonymous. Uh, Ethernet uses con contention. So the idea of contention is I've got random access. So I've got a bunch of devices. Uh, typically in a star, although it could be in a bus formation. And uh, any device at any time can listen and see if it's time to transmit or see if it's clear to transmit. And then uh, when it is clear to transmit, it can go ahead and transmit it. Uh, it's going to listen first and then transmit. Uh, and then if collisions occur, which they will do, uh, then it has some means of dealing with those, which we will talk about later on. Here's some contention here in a bus formation. So you see just whenever the computers need to send something, uh, they can go ahead and send it. Here we have it going on in a star formation here. And then down here, if you watch closely, you see device 5 and uh, device 1 here uh, have a collision. No, excuse me, it's 2 and 5, is it? Yeah, 2 and 5, when they try to transmit at the same time, you get this collision going on here. All right, that's it for the three ways that we can. There are actually more, but those are the three most important ones that we study in this course.